Uh, good morning, kids. Uh, today I am going to show you some some things you have to consider when you're first starting a project. Um, so basically this video video is going to be about starting um, a new project in Revit. There's a few things that have been uh, overlooked in the past and I just need to make sure I point those out to you. Um, and secondly, if you're looking at my screen, um, there has been an update to Revit which has completely changed the way uh, this looks. So we'll have to do that on our classroom computers as well. Uh, get that update going on there. <clears throat> but um, if I am going to start a new project, these are some of the things that I'm going to do at first. I'm going to click on new and because this is a brand new project, I haven't done anything else on this project, I'm going to start with an architectural template. I always choose architectural template first. That's where we get started, that's where we get all of our groundwork done, our walls, our ceilings, our our uh, floors, everything. Okay, so let's make sure we click on architectural template and just keep it right here um, on project. Don't uh, change it to project template or anything like that because this is the new project. Once it comes up, it'll take a second here. Okay. Um, first thing I want to do is set my elevations, and elevations is going to depend on: am I having, am I going to have a one-story, two-story house? Uh, how high are my walls going to be? Um, so I'm, I'm going to want to set those things um, from the get-go here. So I am going to create a house, and right now in class we are working with eight-foot walls. We're not going anything higher than that at the moment. So I'm going to set my um, first level here of course my first level is zero that is the ground level the level above that is going to be top of wall one okay and yes I do want to change the corresponding view that's the the name over here so that it um, the level is actually renamed to what I've now named it at okay so we've got that now, uh, for a two-story house, now that's going to be enough for now for a one-story house. Um, I would add some levels later as needed, um, but primarily those are what I'm going to start with. Now for a two-story house, I've got to add two more layers. Um, there is actually going to be some space between um, the first and second floors as far as um, the ceiling. If you look up on the first floor, you see a ceiling. Well, there's actually a bit of space between that and where the second floor starts. And we are currently using trussing for that. So we're going to estimate right now, we're just going to place that level two, that level two floor level at uh, one foot above top of wall one. And that, that's an estimate. Okay, we'll go back and change that later and readjust our levels to get a final figure on that. But just out of the box, just go ahead and put an extra foot level uh, or an additional one foot level here. So, and of course I can just type in one foot and make things a lot easier. Okay, now this one's going to say top of wall two and I'm going to have to change that. <clears throat> and of course I also need to be able to see my work or see these different lines here so if I can get it to show up there should be a little lightning bolt that comes up right there and it's not showing up for some reason but anyway since I'm looking while I'm looking for that I'm going to go ahead and change this to level 2 and yes I want to rename the corresponding view and there's my lightning bolt okay so I'm going to click on that lightning bolt and drag this up here just a little bit so that they're not all crowded up together there. All right. Now I'm going to add one more level, which is going to be top of wall two. Okay, and I'm just going to go over here to this side again, just like I did last time, and click on level. And this one is going to be, for now, it's going to be eight foot above um, the floor of level two. And that also will have to be adjusted because I always need to maintain at least eight feet of clearance for the ceiling. 
So later on, when I do some adjusting, whatever I adjust level two, I need to do the same adjustment on level three, or what is currently level three. It's about to be top of all two. And yes, I want to rename the corresponding view. All right, and last thing I want to do, now that I've got some things going on here, uh, I want to go ahead and save my project. Okay, we've been working in a project called RES, and I've got several of those going because I've been uh, doing some samples and things like that as well. Um, so I'm going to, uh, let's see, just kind of alter my name just a little bit there. All right, so now we've got our new project. We've got it started, named, and we have all the appropriate levels that we need at this moment. Okay, so that's it for this video. Uh, the next video is going to be on walls.